Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. Today, what we're going to do is, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. As you can see, it's raining, but what better day to put a tip video together. Today, what we're going to really talk about is the accessories to using a trailer and trailer itself. So to start out on your truck, it's really nice if you take a look and just make sure that all your connections in your truck, everything looks good, that they're not too rusty. Um, also my five plug everything's looking good so should be good there next thing I'm going to do is um, I have a hitch that's connected to my truck the one thing I always do I always have a lock on it because uh, I've already heard of stories where people had their hitch removed um, people have had their trailers taken away the other thing I do I also have a lock on to to go through here and lock my trailer to my hitch. Another thing, as you can see, is I have a rock guard on here. Rock guards are very nice to protecting both your trailer and your boat, so um, definitely recommend getting one. Um, I bought this probably 20, 20 years ago and it's still in tip-top shape, a little rusty, but they make a lot of great tow, uh, tow protectors. Uh, next thing to do is just make sure that your latch is working. If not, just grease it up, lubricate it up. The other thing I always do is just make sure that all your bolts are tight to this because this is very important to uh, having it locked to your trailer. Next thing I'll do is make sure that all my wiring looks good. I, I see everything here looks good. It's not really rusted. If not, use a wire brush. Just clean up the connectors and you're all set. Nice thing here is I actually have lights, so I can actually plug it in, light it up. So the other thing I'd recommend is definitely plug her in and then go and actually test all your lights. Brakes, lights, uh, right turn signal, left turn signal, emergencies. Um, so definitely recommend doing that. Another part, check out that your trailer wheel, everything works good, that it rotates nice and freely. Grease it up, tire rotates, and that everything, once again, is very tight. Coming up to the winch. Um, make sure, for one, make sure you have a safety chain. No matter what boat you have, safety chains are so important, especially when backing down. So, this is a roller trailer. This safety chain will stay on all the way till I get to the back, you know, till I get the boat all the way down to the water. Same thing with my big boat. With bunks, same thing. I keep that safety chain on all the way till the back of the boat is in the water. Winch, um, make sure that your winch uh, switch to lock it in place and all that works good. Um, if not, you know, you may have to replace spring or may have to replace. Make sure that the handle, see this handle's getting a little, wear, um, a little wear, so may have to go and get a new winch just to make sure this handle doesn't strip. The strap, um, this strap, I can see a little war here, you know, worn here. So I may end up, uh, if the winch is really good, may just go out and purchase a strap. And the nice thing about this is that with it being secure, you could actually work on a strap really at any time. Um, and then we got the bumper for the bow. Um, just look at the bumper. Make sure that it looks good because once it gets worn, this could actually get very close to the bolt that's here. Especially on fiberglass bolts, um, you could do some damage. So that's really the things that are needed for the front and bow of the trailer. Okay, the next part of the trailer I really want to talk about is really the axle, the wheels. So. First thing I would do is just look at my axle, make sure it sort of looks straight. Um, look at the leaf springs um, and just make sure where they're bolted on that they look secure. Cause sometimes over rough roads and everything, these bolts will loosen up. Most of the time they're nylon nuts, so it shouldn't, but it could loosen up somewhat. So always check that out. Other things, make sure uh make sure your lug nuts make sure your wheels are tight every so often these nuts could also back out so make sure they're tight wheel bearings i have compressed fittings so i can just apply grease in here and that's typically what i do every spring 
Um, I'll look at my tire and just look at my thread. These tires, they're only like a couple years old, so they're gonna be fine. So just recommend uh, recommend looking at the tires. Um, always have a spare tire on board. You have a spare tire, you'll be in great shape. So, a lot of people don't really know this, you know, but definitely recommend having hydraulic jack with you um, when you go because you know this boat isn't going to be too difficult but our big boats i have a big triton you're going to need a heavy duty jack to raise that up and be able to get the tire out and put the new tire on so um also have a great lug nut wrench um so that you can make sure that you can get these off because sometimes these nuts can be on very uh you know very tight the other thing I recommend doing is take your trailer out on a spin. You know, go 15, you know, go 10, 15 miles. And then what you want to do is come and check the hub right here. And what you'll do is if you feel any warmth, no, you're going to have to change your wearing, uh, wheel bearings or repack them. Uh, so I definitely recommend every couple of years, um, you know, just checking your wheel bearings. So what that requires, just pull this off and then you'll pull the hub off and then you just go and check your bearing out and you'll know if it's good um, and repack it with fresh uh, marine grade grease. Okay, next part of the trailer I really want to talk about is you either have a roller trailer, which this is, or you have a bunk trailer. If you have a roller trailer, basically, once you put your boat in, you wanna just go and look at all the rollers. Make sure that they're not all worn. Um, usually roller trailers, they, they can, you can go on a lot of trips and not have any issues. The other thing is, also look at all the roller rollers because uh, the rollers are mounted to the base of the trailer. Just make sure again that that's not loose um, and make sure that they move back and forth. If you have a bunk trailer, we got a few more things we wanna check. For one, look at the bunks. Make sure the bunks carpet isn't, is, um, is not worn. If it is, so easy to replace carpet on the bunks. The other big important thing is make sure some use bolts, some use screws. Just make sure that all the hardware is below where the carpet meets. Um, so that way you will not scratch the bottom of your boat. Um, and then finally, same thing with bunks. What you wanna do is just make sure that they also move and that they are secured to the trailer. So really that, that takes care of um, what the boat sits on. Okay, now we're at the transom of our trailer. So now really what we're going to look is, I, I'm gonna look at uh, my transom saver that's on my motor, uh, making sure that there's no cracks in the strap that holds it on, everything looks good, transom saver, um, and that it's secured to the trailer. Here, all I have is a hole drilled in, so very simple. Um, just make sure that that works. Um, a lot of people say, do you need a transom saver? No ifs, ands, or buts. All my boats over the years always had a transom saver because uh, it protects, protects the transom of the boat um, from having to wait with the motor moving around. Other things, I check all the straps, make sure that they're not worn, um, that everything is going to hook up properly. Um, I make sure on all my lights, I make sure that they're not cracked. Um, and then I also uh, just make sure that everything works. And really, that takes care of the transom of the trailer. Finally, let's talk about the equipment that I recommend having along. So first, a, a good jack to get you up. And, and that jack needs to make sure that if you have a heavy duty bolt, that that jack is gonna cover you wheel chocks to make sure that your trailer doesn't move around uh, when you're changing a tire. A good lug nut wrench. Make sure that if you have one that actually fits the nuts that you want to change. Definitely recommend also just having a small toolbox with wrenches, crescent wrench, uh, screwdriver, a grease gun to make sure that you can grease up your fittings. Definitely have the bulbs that you need should you burn out a bulb for your trailer. 
and really you know you know just having a set of you know like i said earlier having a set of tools just so that you can handle anything that you may encounter so these are the tips that i recommend for uh keeping up your trailer